Time's up. We gotta get back to. Oh god. Do you think anyone noticed? How's it going? Part of me wonders if their entire strategy is to deny I ever existed. Can't keep you locked away forever. We really need to get you a book on English history. So, are you still like Stonehenge? Your royal hardness? <laughs> Till the sweat drops down my balls. I just can't afford for you to fall in love with me. I think we should make love tonight. Good morning. <laughs> what three words would I use to describe Henry? White, blonde, and British. Or Big Ben. Nelson's column. It's good to see you and His Royal Highness on better terms, and not on the floor. Yes, Prime Minister. Henry and I are much happier against walls. <laughs> I love hanging out with this guy. You're the one who decided to put your dick into the air to the British throne. Well, technically, I'm the spare. Not talking to you, sir. In the reign of Queen Victoria, they were having food fights all the time. Vicky. <laughs> Classic. Hmm. So you do admit that's a douchey thing to say. I could have been nicer. Well, hopefully we'll get through tonight without any more scandals from these two. The night is young, Ma. Couldn't have just been the conference. Oh my god. Until he found out about the karaoke machine. Uh, no, no, I am definitely not doing karaoke. I'm burning through the sky, yeah. And I thought Alexander Gabriel Claremont Diaz was a mouthful. He is. Don't minimize it. Uh, uh, how could I possibly? It's already as minimal as it gets. How many families he could feed with what this cake cost? Probably not as many as if we put your shoes on auction. Ha. <laughs> Rude. You're gonna stay at least 500 feet away from me for the rest of the night. Sensible plan. I'm not done. Oh, of course you're not. Then at midnight, you're gonna come to my room on the second floor of the residence where I'm going to do some very bad things to you. I am so sorry. I didn't say get me out of here. I said I need to get out of here, which is a different thing entirely. Oh. Well, now I feel like I need to apologize. Tell me something, Your Majesty. Uh, magnificent day. Yes, Alex. What I mean to say is, Henry. Nope. We hit it off instantly. It's like we've known each other all our lives, right? Yep. It's great to see you. You too, your majesty. Actually, it's your royal highness. Your majesty is reserved for the king. Oh, thank you for the etiquette lesson. You are desperately in need of one. You know what? I'm going to be very proud to be your boyfriend. I'm always proud to be your boyfriend. Oh, sorry. I'm white and upper class, so my affection comes with strings. <laughs> He's very animated. He's the world's rudest person. He's the world's most irritating person. You've got to be joking. Alex, it's good to see you. Sober? One of our photographers. <laughs> I mean, who says make love anymore? We're going to, like, listen to Lana Del Rey when we do it? I'm going to stand to the right of His Royal Highness. Is that protocol or just his good side? Both. I swear that he is not 6'2". Did your parents send you to snobbery school or does looking down on people just come naturally to you? Well, in your case, I would say it's rather inevitable. We are the same height. My NDA is bigger than yours, I want you to know that. You're wearing lifts. You know that too, sweetheart. Ow, get your pants off me! I can't get up the shit in me. I'm serious right now. Big smiles for the camera, please. <laughs> Alex has very strong opinions, and, and he shares them loudly. Percentile 33. 
Yeah. Makes sense. What do you mean by that? It means you've got good taste, Alex. Thanks. Why'd you dislike me? Oh, we finished it. Yes, Your Royal Highness. Dick. You're expected at my New Year's party. No, I hate New Year's. Wow. Most people would kill to get an invite to my party. That's perfect. You kill me and I won't have to go. <laughs> See you a few months, Your Majesty. Later, Sean. They keep the turkey in a luxury hotel suite the night before the ceremony. I mean, do you think of anything more wasteful? Oh, perhaps this conversation. Nice tie. Rocking the orange. Orange? Must be colorblind. This is obviously copper. You are so annoying. Why are you awake? Because some bellend decided to call me at 3 a.m. to talk turkey. What's a bellend? Look it up. I haven't drunk since Christmas. You gotta catch up. I am as gay as a maple. <laughs> what? I'm hanging up now. No, I'm hanging up on you. Fine. Have it your way. That's what the big red button is for. All in the hips. Use it up. I have no idea what a maple, maple. is. Maple. <laughs> right. Are they known for their homosexual tendencies? Oh, oh god, yes. Notorious. Notorious for There's something I've been dying to ask you. Which are the famous boys of I shag? There's two things I've been dying to ask. <laughs> <laughs> Henry! What's up? Long time no see. Alex? I've been thinking. I seriously doubt that. I seriously doubt that. Killer wedding, man. Glad you're enjoying yourself. Oh, yeah. Who doesn't love a little Mozart? Actually, it's Schubert. One thing I most admire about Alex is his willingness to admit when he's wrong. Wonderful. Wonderful trait to have. Wow, you really are working class, aren't you? Oh, shut up, your majesty.